fast, one four. Do it, baby, stick it, baby, move it, baby, look it, baby, suck up on that kick into that pussy. Hey guys, what's up? What's good? Welcome back to my channel. If you can't already tell, I did the Young Miami look from the um, twerk video, and this is what I came up with. And if you guys want to know how I got this look, then you have to keep on watching. But before you start watching, hit the subscribe button. And I've already got one eye done, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know that I am using the Emily Edit Emily Edit palette as well as the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments palette which looks like this um so um let's see let's see let's see the first shade i'm going to take is the laugh cry color i've already got this eye um prime with some um concealer from makeup revolution i'm gonna take a fluffy brush and i'm going to go higher than what my crease is and blend that um laugh cry color up above that because I like to take my colors a little bit higher I don't want like this little lid space right here I want like a lot of lid space because if I don't like I have all of this area just completely open so I like to go up higher with my colors I'm just gonna blend that out all nice and smoothly and I am bringing that all the way inwards now I'm going to go over to the Colored Rain palette and I'm going to take out the splash color. Which is this one right here in the corner. And I'm going to really focus that onto the inner um, part of my eye. Because that's where she has like a lot of, like, of a bright orange color in. Just like that. And then I'm gonna kind of just blend it out. Just like that. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. Now I'm gonna go over to the Emily Edit palette and I am going to take first this color right here called Cheer. And I'm going to blend that into the outer corner as well as like a little bit upwards. Like so. Just a little bit, not too much. So about halfway I'm going to blend that inwards. And try to blend out those edges of it too. I'm going to go back with that fluffy brush and kind of just blend at the edges. Go back between the two. And I'm kind of okay with that. Now I'm going to take um, that same brush and I'm going to take that deep purple color in the palette. Which is called Family. It's right there. And I'm going to blend that on the outer corner now. Do the same thing. Go back with that cheer color and kind of blend out the edges. Just a little bit. Now with some type of flat brush. Whatever my flat brush is. I'm going to take um, this purple right here on a flat brush and I'm going to kind of blend over top of that purple we just placed. Just a little bit but blend it inwards. She has like a, um, like a purpley pink color that blends into that champagne color on her lid. So I'm going to take that first. 
And remember, I'm going to go up a little bit higher because I want my shadows to be seen. Now I'm going to take this here. I'm going to flip my brush over it and I'm going to take this color called Pizzazz. And kind of blend that over top but going in a little bit further into my eye. So it does have like a little bit of purple peeking through, but it's like pink as well. Just like so. And with one more flat brush, I'm going to take the color Ever Rose, which is this color right here. And I'm going to spread that all across my lid. And I'm going to bring that up higher than where my crease is. And I'm really going to smooth that into that um, orangey red color too. And if you lost a little bit of that pinky shade, just go back and add it back on. I think that works. Kind of matching. Now for my liner, which she does have a liner. Well, first I'm gonna go ahead and do like my bottom um, lash line. And I'm gonna add that, that matte purple first, which is called Family in the Palette. Then I'm going to go over top of it with that reddish shade called Cheer, directly over top of it. I want both of the colors. Like so. Now I'm going to add some lighter. She does have like a nice little medium sized little um, wing. I think I've made this one a little bit bigger, but we're going to we're going to roll it with it. Think that works. Think that works. For my lashes, I'm going to use an old fave. They are by the Glam Lashes. And the lashes look like this here. I add some mascara first, which I'm going to use a CoverGirl Lash Blast, Lash Blast Active, which I've been liking. And it's waterproof. It's literally like 11.53 at night and I'm putting on makeup just to wipe it out to go to sleep. Yeah. The things I do for a YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm going to use my um, clear House of Lashes glue. And I'm going to dab on exactly too much. 
because that's totally okay. Pop the eyelashes on. And I'm liking that. Now, she does have on like, like a, a rougey shade of blush and she does have highlight on. So for highlight, I am gonna take my new fave highlight, which is the Cocoa Beans, well, coffee and cocoa palette. So for blush, I am going to take um, this shade by Tarte Cosmetics and it is called Dreamy. And I'm going to spray my face before I add my highlight. I'm going to take the Your Grounded shade from the Coffee and Cocoa palette. that for like the face now let's get to the lips so we're about to be like in a trial run okay i'm gonna take these sorbatsky crystals or whatever you want to call them i got from like michael's they're like three sizes in here and I'm probably gonna be using like the biggest size because I don't have time to be just enough here to be putting on all these at like 1201, 1201. Um, she has like a maybe a clear or white lipstick on, so I'll do that first. This is the Diamond Lip Gloss by Anastasia. I am going to use some tweezers to try and pick up the crystals. I'm just going to plop those babies on. Or try to pick them up. So in the video, she looks like she has, you know, straight up studs on her lips. But my technique was not smart, mainly because gloss is supposed to be glossy. So they slip and slide all around. So yeah, that didn't work. And it was too late for me to, to put adhesive on the studs. So yeah, I just went with it. Regardless, it was a fade. So, Nick. Okay, let's so y'all. I wanted to do like an alternative to those Swarovski crystals. And I'm going to use like two glitters. One is by um, Glit Your Life. And it is the um, Disco color, which is like a just mainly just silver holographic and the other one is Ella by Lit Cosmetics. So I'm basically going to mix those two together and just press them against this gloss that I have on. And I think I like that a lot more. Looks really, really cute in person, I promise. 